In this video we'll learn how to conform existing caption files for delivery to Netflix using Closed Caption Creator. Before we begin, you'll want to familiarize yourself with the general time text style guidelines for your language as documented on the Netflix Partner website. It is important to note that there are a number of requirements and recommendations that Netflix provides in their documentation. We won't be covering the proper way to insert line breaks or format dialogue because much of this is language specific. Let's start by reviewing the Netflix timing guidelines. Netflix recommends a minimum duration of 5 sixths of a second and a maximum duration of 7 seconds per subtitle event. They also have requirements for the number of characters and lines per subtitle event. They recommend two line captions, where each line does not exceed 42 characters. The reading rate for adult programming can be up to 20 characters per second and 17 characters per second for children's programming. Subtitle events that start or end within half a second of a shot change should be in sync with the shot change. Finally, chain subtitle events should have a minimum gap of 2 frames. For 24 frame content, any gaps between 3 and 11 frames should be closed to 2 frames. Here I have a project where I've already imported a caption file that was produced for broadcast. The captions are in time with my video, however they do not conform to the Netflix requirements. Some events have more than two lines of captions, and there are many chained events with no gaps. Let's start by updating our event group error settings to detect issues within our event group. I'll click on the menu icon on the right of my event group tab, and click settings from the list of menu options. Next, I'll update the error detection settings near the bottom to reflect the Netflix style guidelines. You'll notice that we'll start to see red warnings in top left of each event when there is an error. I can mouse over each warning to read what the issue may be. I can go through and fix each error manually, or I can use the automation to help fix multiple issues at once. Let's start by fixing the number of lines per subtitle event. I'll go to the Format menu and select Auto Format Custom. The Auto Format tool should load with the settings from your event group. All you should have to do is click the Auto Format button in order to format all events. Next we can fix all of the potential timing issues by going to the Timecode menu and selecting Auto Correct Timing. Again, the Auto Correct Timing tool will load with your event group settings already populated. Click the Auto Correct button to process your events. The Auto Correct Timing tool is designed to fix issues related to reading rate. In order to fix any event gap and shot change timing issues, you'll need to first run the Auto Detect Shot Change tool found in the AI Tools menu. Shot changes will appear as red markers in your timeline. We can now snap event times to each shot change by going to the Format menu and selecting Snap to Scene Changes. Next go to the Insert menu and select Blank Frames. The Blank Frames tool is designed to insert gaps between subtitle events where required. Update the number of frames to insert along with the minimum and maximum frame gap. Click Apply when ready. Our project is now ready for final review before delivery to Netflix. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, please visit www.closedcaptioncreator.com.